Okay, is that? Hello guys, this is another session of drawing with Naima. This time we're in a program called uh, Manga Studio EX. I use uh, version 4.0 at the moment, but um, I've used 3.0 and it's pretty much the same. There's some differences, but um, they aren't horrendously huge. Anyway, um, this is a program I use for my line art, and uh, the reason why is it gets nice, clean line art. I mean, you can also use this, of course, for its intended purposes of comic booking, but I like using it for line art as well. And so I can show you this little drawing I'm working on right now. Um, I was just going to show you some of how I work in Manga Studio Pro and what it's like. So, um, there's a bunch of different tools over here. It's pretty much standard, but uh, the important difference is the pen tool, which is my god. And I keep things a lot more organized in uh, Manga Studio Pro than I do in um, Photoshop, and I'll show you in a moment why. But um, So create a new layer. So this is the pen tool, and it's amazing because, oh, look at that line. Nice black and clean as you can see. There's not a lot of them. I guess you'd call it anti-alias where like the edges get a little gray because they're getting transparent. And the reason why is, is if you zoom in 100% you'll see that it's really pixelated. But because it's really pixelated at this level that means when you bring it out that line is very clean and very black and just And so, um, this is just how I work. I just go and, and I just do lines like that. And, um, I mean, this is pretty boring, <laughs> obviously, just to watch me go like, oh, look at me do these nice little lines. Yeah. Um, it also runs a lot faster than Photoshop. Like, opening it is no problem. Like, it doesn't take a very long time. It doesn't use up a lot of hard drive space, so you can have a lot of things open at once, and it won't, like, kill your computer like Photoshop does, which is just the most annoying thing ever, I'm sure. If you've ever used Photoshop, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, one of the other cool things you can do is... Let me just do this. I don't want that layer. I don't want that layer. I want that layer. Okay. Um, so you can, I just duplicate this. Actually, what I wanted to do is I wanted to duplicate this whole thing. Just leave that alone for now. And as you can go and you change layer type. Now this is really important. You change layer type to a vector layer. This will take a little bit. So, don't hold it against it. It's just taking its sweet old time. I'll probably cut out this load time. Okay, so I think this should be recording again. Okay. Anyway, so um, this is now a vector layer. And what does that mean? It means we can use this tool right here. This one, it looks like a little pencil. Get out of here. <laughs> it looks like a little pencil with a line. Um, and what you can do is essentially this. You can change the width of lines really easily. So, like, let's say here, I don't like that these lines are so thick. So I can just go shing. And then look at that. Ain't that neat? And uh, that's one big advantage I find. It really lets me fine tune my lines without having to redraw everything 20 thousand million times and that's been a lot of help in these illustrations where they're supposed to be like uh, the Mooka illustrations I think that's how you say his name I'm probably saying it completely wrong anyway where um, it always has this really thick border uh, thick and like a uh, fixed border around the outside and then on the inside it's all the nice fine detailed ones and I really like this tool a notch, I think I said that, but I cannot see it enough because 
I mean, really, you can just go in and be like, oh, I don't like how I drew that line. I can just fix it. It's amazing. Um, trying to think what else. Oh, this one's fun. Uh, I'll just draw it over here for now. We'll just forget that. Let's go to uh, the ruler layer. This one's cool. Um, let's say you need to draw a box in perspective. We're going to just do, oh, we're going to do a whole new layer. I'm going to call this like a super perspective layer. Anyway, and you're like, I need to draw this box in perspective. But, of course, nobody can draw everything in perspective. We'll just say it's something and then like, you know, whatever. There's a ground plane, there's the horizon up here. And look at, like, that box is like not really in perspective at all. The horizon line's up here, yada yada yada. Anyway, I didn't explain that at all. The horizon line is up here. The vanishing points need to meet in order to make sure it's in perspective. Now, the cool thing about Manga Studio Pro is you have a perspective ruler. Now looking at this, this is a one point perspective. No matter how badly drawn it is, it is a one point perspective. So, um, sorry, this tool gets a little janky for the first few seconds you use it. So what you can do is you can take your little tool, you go like this, and then you just keep on selecting these points. Oops. Stop messing with me, you stupid perspective ruler. There you go. And then you can just continue to change until how ooh undo until how these lines are arranged fits what you need them to look like. Ta da So like that vanishing point actually needs to be down here because if I have the horizon line up there, it doesn't make sense for it to be any other way. So check that out. Now you're looking at this and you're going like this is the most confusing thing ever. And do you know what it kind of is? <laughs> understand. But what you can do then is see, notice when you draw now, it draws on that perspective. I'll just do it on a new layer so it's a little bit easier to see. Take the opacity down just a little bit. And then watch. It's freaking magic, bros. It's magic. Now this tool works best when you have Notice like how out of perspective that actually was. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. I wasn't really planning it anyway. But um this tool really works best if you already have a basic perspective of how you want things to line up. Um otherwise it's just really going to be a hassle to kind of figure out how you want your perspective to be. But I use this a lot for um, when I need help when I'm doing like really complex pieces which do need a lot of um, perspective in them. For example, kitchens or just indoor environments in general. Uh, and usually I don't, I use this as sort of a base drawing. And what you do is you take off the uh, ruler layer. And then after that, um, what I'll do is I'll just create a new layer. Oops. And then I'll just draw on top of that whatever I need the shape to actually be because generally it gets, you just have a lot of mess ups because, you know, you, they're so linear it's hard to just get the line right the first time. And plus it's better to have like sort of, I feel um, what you would call I guess like, you know, just that like sort of wavering kind of just a little bit of imperfection with that line because then it just looks more like 
an actual person drew it and not a robot. But yeah, like, so that sort of thing will help you. See, that's just gross. I'm sorry, you guys. That looks like a lump of bread. I mean, it could be a lump of bread in perspective. We'll make it a lump of bread. Look at that. Look, now it is a lump of bread. It's a lump of bread in perspective. Yeah. A lump of bread, I guess. What do you want to call it? Anyway. But, uh, yeah, that tool helps me for when I just need to, like, figure out the basics of perspective in an environment, especially because you just, you know, perspective is such a bitch. Um, trying to think. I think that's pretty much the main thing that you need to know about, um, Manga Studio Pro, at least when it comes for, um, for line art, uh, there's a bunch of different other things, like for when you do comic books, like comic book panels or whatever, that's helpful to know. I mean, if you guys want me to cover that, I can do that too. I just have to, I don't have like a comic book page set up that I can like draw on top of and um, show you guys. Um, I guess I'll continue this little tutorial after I've finished the main line art because this still needs a little bit more tweaking and then I can uh, show you how I export files into Photoshop and how that works and how you know you just make sure that it exports nicely and you get all your lines how you want them to be and so I'll see you in a probably about like mm, 